person who influenced me a lot who's in the book is Peter Drucker. So I was in the faculty for 10 years at Claremont Graduate University uh, while Peter was still alive. And everyone said, you know, you've got to meet Peter, uh, he's the guru. And you know, I'm like, I'm a scientist, you know, I do hardcore stuff. And Peter's a social ecologist. And uh, anyway, we did some work that got some media attention. And uh, I got a handwritten note from Peter that said, oh, your work seems very interesting. We should have a coffee sometime. And I thought, oh, what a bad person I am and what a good person he is. They'd reach out to a very junior person and he was in his 80s. Uh, and so anyway, we ended up getting to know each other and he had a huge influence on my life. I started going back and reading the things he had, had uh, written and he was so prescient. Again, he was using intuition. He was studying organizations from the inside out. And, um, you know, the science I've done is so much in alignment with what Peter has done. So you see a lot of Peter Drucker popping up here and there in the book. But the most important thing I learned from Peter was, number one, never stop being curious. Talk to all the people around you, right? Learn from them. And Peter always said that his only value in the world, I'm sure an understatement, was that not that he knew things, that he asked good questions. And I think to ask good questions, number one, you have to listen to people. And so I've tried very hard as I've gotten older to be um, a better listener, to speak less and listen more, and to think of really useful questions for people. I don't think I have a lot of answers for anything in the world, um, but I think I might be able to ask good questions at this point. And so um, I think those are two things. And, and Peter was very humble as well. I mean, he's just a total superstar. Live in this simple house. He, he was just a, he was a really wonderful human being. And uh, so, yeah, maybe I can live up to, uh, to Peter Drucker's standard.